many cities in the world, including London, including Cleveland, including New York, anywhere you care to name, really. The sewer systems are pretty old. They're often over 100 years old. Um, London's were obviously, most of them were built in 1858, and they're still working, more or less. But they were built for a certain population. London's sewer system was built for 3 million people. And the guy who built it, um, another hero of mine, Joseph Basil Jett, who actually, his great, 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 great grandson uh, is Peter Basil Jett, who gave us Big Brother. So thanks for that. Do you have, you have Big Brother over here, right? Yeah. So there is some joke about how he took the shit away and the other guy just gives it to us. But anyway. Um, so our sewer system is seriously under pressure. Uh, in London, it now has to serve 10 to 13 million people. And even though Bazalgette installed 25% extra capacity, because he was just great, and, saw, and, uh, and was visionary, and knew that the population would grow, he couldn't account for it growing so much, and it cannot cope. The other problem is that when many sewer systems were installed back then, um, the engineers at the time thought, well, it makes more sense to install a sewer system which can take both wastewater and uh, rainwater, stormwater, so anything that comes off a street um, that goes down is the same sewer system, it's called a combined sewer network, combined sewer system. And um, the trouble is that when you've already got um, a system under pressure, if it rains hard, it can rain, if you have a short, sharp rainstorm, it can overwhelm the sewer system. And if you don't have enough capacity to keep all this volume of water, wastewater, then it has to go somewhere. Yeah, I mean, people in the wastewater industry say, and quite rightly, it's, an it's, a, it's inarguable, that it, it either goes into the nearest body of water, the raw sewage and the stormwater, or it goes into people's basement. It backs up. People don't want it in their basements, clearly. But they also, um, they also don't offer any others. They, they object to it going into the nearest body of water. And yet, there is no other solution at this point. The only solution is to minimize the volume of stuff going into the sewer system. Um, the other thing, I mean, we have this system which we think is, we think it works. We think it works perfectly. Um, and um, I call it a solution in need of evolution because we think it works perfectly. We don't want to give it the money it needs to be properly upgraded. There's a, a multi-billion dollar shortfall in funding for wastewater infrastructure. The last time wastewater infrastructure was uh, graded in the United States by the Institute of Civil Engineers, it was given a D minus. It's crumbling. Only three quarters of American sewers actually work at full capacity. It is in serious trouble, and it will get even worse. And yet, people don't even want to. People object to even a slight increase in their water rates. They think that it's free. Of course, it's not free. It needs to be treated and cleaned. But people object to it. They pay more for their cable. They happily pay more for their cell phone, but they won't pay $20 more or $50 more a year for, for example, in, in Cleveland, for better stormwater management. It's quite strange. Um, the other thing we also think that, um, uh